Hey guys, what's up? It's me, it's your boy, Nero here, and today, I wanted to have a discussion. A discussion about this little guy. And what does this guy represent, this little ladybug here? It represents the pay to win pack. I forgot to freeze my units, come back up, oh, open up, back, 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 oh, uh, no I can't, okay, whoops. Uh, concerned swimmers, salty swimmers, haha, <laughs> come, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> uh, I just want to talk about the pay to win pack, because I've noticed some... I would, I would classify them as really stupid things about the pay to win pack. The number one stupid thing about the pay to win pack, um, splits the player base. So I, I noticed that they're posting my most recent video, which is in the pay to win pack, that a lot of you guys don't give a shit because you're like, what the hell is even this stuff? I don't play this. I don't know what this is. So like a good 30 to 40% of the sap player base is just like, nah, I don't know what that is, man. It's pay to win stuff. It's DLC. I don't play that. So that's bad. That's the number one bad thing about it. Splitting your player base up for no good reason is kind of silly. Right? I think we can all agree to that. I don't know what I want to do here. I think I put the ladybug in the back and put a honey on it. I think that is a play. Um, number two, it is genuinely very, very in balance compared to the free-to-play one. Free-to-play is honestly some of the greatest, genuinely, like from the bottom of my heart, after I played the free-to-play pack, I was like, wow, this is some of the, the legitimately greatest game design I've played in a long time. Like everything makes sense. Everything goes together. Everything has purpose. Everything feels good. It really does. Like you could ask anyone to play Super Auto Pets. Literally, you could ask anyone just to play Super Auto Pets and they actually like it. Just playing the free to play pack. People really do love this game. It's a good game. It's a browser game that is genuinely amazing. And then you ask people to play the pay to win pack and they're like, yeah, this is what I expect this game to be. It's like if a kid got a hold of it. I, I know that sounds stupid. I'm not trying to be, I'm trying to say it's bad because it's still fun, but it, it really kind of just feels like a kid got a hold of the game because stuff is just so insane and makes no sense. Like some of this, at least that's what it feels like to me. Honestly, I'm not going to sit here and say like, I have the most experience and I'm completely correct about this and my opinion is right because it might not be right. I might be completely wrong and the pay to win pack is really, really genuinely a great pack. But after playing it for like 20 or 30 hours, I got to say, I don't like it. And I think it's just, I just think it's just silly, man. And when I played it the first time in the, the free trial, like when you got to test the beta or whatever, uh, I played it quite a bit then and I didn't like it. And now I bought it because I didn't like it in the in the beta, so I didn't buy it. And now I just bought it like three days ago, I've been playing it, you know, about four or five hours a day. And I don't like it. I just don't like it. I don't know what I want to do here. Do I want to apple one of these things? I could apple a ladybug. The ladybug is always just good, man. He's just a good guy. He's strong. Um, he takes care of his family. He's just a good old, old, old dude. You know, it's a ladybug. This is a male ladybug for sure. I just tell by the dots. Yep, I'm an animal expert. Uh, I think I'm just. I'm gonna roll. I don't really want any of this. I either I can combine the ant to the level two ant, right? Which and then buy a mosquito and then honey something. Uh, I can also sell this fish and roll. I think that's actually the better way to go. The fish isn't doing anything right now. Got another fish. Damn it, dude. Damn it, Ricky Bobby. All right, let's just do this. Um, I'm not even sure. The, sh the, the fish actually might just straight up be better than the shrimp, but I feel like I'm going to sell a lot of units, so I don't, I don't know. I think the shrimp's okay. Anyway, so back to the free-to-play discussion, or the pay-to-win discussion. Um, yeah, the pack is really unbalanced, and I remember reading one of the dev blogs talking about it, and it made a lot of sense to me, because the pay-to-win pack is, isn't supposed to be balanced, so... Any of the truly good pets that make a lot of sense fit into the game well are balanced and fun. They go into the free to free to play pack. So the free to play pack has all the best pets in it because that is the core game. That is what the game. That is the core game right there. That is what the game is currently. And the rest is DLC add-ons for people who get bored of the normal pack and want to have fun. And that makes a lot of sense. And that's cool. And I like that way. But if you're gonna make a third pack, this is where I get nervous. If you're gonna make a third pack and then add custom packs. Is the main game not the custom packs now? What is the game anymore, man? You're splitting up the game into like three different things. You got the normal pack, the pay to win pack, the double pay to win pack, and then the custom pack. It's going to split the player base into four different things. And first off, the custom pack is going to be insane because the pay to win pack currently is not balanced well at all. Some of the things in the game combo way too well together, like puppy caterpillar having two 50-50s at turn 10. What the hell is that? It's not even hard to do. If you get a level two puppy early, it's, it's like an easy to do. Easy to do. To turn, 10 or, turn 10 or 12, two 50-50s. That's insane. There's so many other stuff like that in the pay to win pack where I run into these people and they're literally like, oh my god, what is this team? There's like four 50-50s here. And I thought I was doing good. And that happens a lot, but it, the thing is, it's not even consistent because the, the the ratio of teams you play against in the pay to win pack are highly dispersed. You could like queue in literally on round two to like a 2020 if someone gets a good ladybug. Like if someone gets a good ladybug, you can queue into like a 20 attack ladybug like that. That shouldn't happen. That is pure insanity, man. And it's not fun either. And also they're adding a fortune cookie. 
I'll try to find it and put it on the screen right now. A fortune cookie. This game is so good. Do we need a fortune cookie? What is wrong? Why are we doing this? Don't take this. Man, this game is brand new. Do not make it Hearthstone. Okay? Do not make it Hearthstone. Do not turn it into Hearthstone. We're not there yet. Okay, Mr. Uh, Team Wood Games. <laughs> I, I I know that I might just be stupid and screaming to avoid, and no one really cares. But I really, truly think the free-to-play pack is like is like literally balanced, amazing perfection, like a genuinely great game. I should just play the game, huh? All right, one second. Let me do this. Uh, I'm, I don't want any of these. These are all pretty trash units. Another ladybug. And a dolphin! Let's, uh, let's do that. Should I sell something for the dolphin? Nah. Um, I mean, I could keep this rabbit around as well. Um, I'm actually gonna do that, yeah. There we go. But yeah, I just, I'm kind of scared for the game because I, I feel like having another pack with the pay to win pack already not being very balanced, already kind of too crazy. Um, it's not a good idea, and then adding a custom pack, this game's just gonna become a mess, man. This game is going to become a mess in my eyes, and it's gonna split the player base up into a bunch of pieces, uh, and everyone's gonna be confused, and I'm scared. I'm scared for it. I might be wrong, and maybe the third pack is amazing. I'm sure it's gonna be fun. Don't get me wrong, I think it's going to be fun, but the thing is, is there's fun where it's like, wow, this is cool. It's like, okay, it's like playing an arcade game, like, if you guys ever play, like, StarCraft or something. StarCraft, Dota, whatever has, like, an arcade game. And like the normal game, people play it for thousands of hours, have a great time, it's fun, it's balanced, it's great. Then you play an arcade game and it's really fun for like a couple hours. And you realize, wow, this is horrible because it's just a mess. It's like Modern Warfare 2, right? Modern Warfare 2 versus Call of Duty 4. One is like, wow, this is really fun because all these explosions, all this crazy stuff going over. But it's so temporary because it goes away because you realize, oh wow, if I just get this cookie and I put it on this hero, I just wipe an entire team, and it's like open half of 10% of the time. But 10% of the time, I get completely wrecked and I have no response. 10% of the time, I completely wreck him with no response, and that's the game, and it's just like, wow, this isn't fun anymore. This is frustrating. And honestly, I feel like that's what the pay-to-win pay to pack is. Not to that extreme, but yeah. For instance, this hatching chick. Imagine getting a hatching chick on turn three. A plus five, plus five on a ten, or already on a huge ladybug. Like, look, look at this. Like, watch. Like, look at, look at this. Look at this. What is, what is this? What, look, look at the size of this lad. I know it's turn six, but I could have done that at any turn. I could have done this at any turn. I could have done, I could have done that five turns ago. Like, it would, would have mattered. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's like, what? why did you want to queue into that? It didn't even help him. You just screw over someone else's game. So guy just loses because like, you, you semi-buffed your entire team for a turn. And it, I don't know, it's just kind of insane. I'm worried about the custom pack, basically, is what I'm trying to talk about. I know I'm rambling a lot, but there's just so much that goes through my head that I'm trying to play the game at the same time, and I'm not very good at this, and I apologize for that. I do be rambling. You know, I'm a rambler. Um, I got, I'm gonna put garlic on him. I'm gonna go for a big ladybug, I guess. Hatching chick again? Uh, I don't think the level two hatching chick is any good. Should I go canned food? I'll, I'll freeze canned food, sure. Cause we're gonna need some new pets, cause a lot of our pets suck. Let's just steamroll them real quick. Oh no! Too bad it doesn't matter, cause I have a garlic on a 2020. And see, there I steamrolled, but I guarantee you, uh, in two turns from now, what we just saw right then, a very normal team, kind of weak, actually. I guarantee you in two turns, we're going to see like a 50-50. That's, that's, that's what I'm talking about. We're going to see some insane crap. We're like, what the fuck? What the hell is even that? I have 10 health still. I'm going perfect, by the way. I'm great. I'm a god gamer. I'm going perfect while I'm rambling. I mean, has anyone ever been better than me? I don't think so. I don't think so. 17-22. Uh, also, my hatching hitch won't die now. Hatching hitch. Did I just call it a hatching hitch? Uh, who to what's now? A who to what's? A hatching hitch. A damn hatching hitch. All right, ten ten. Let's um. I'm just gonna keep doing this. I don't know why not. Imagine this ladybug with a black cat on your team, though. Huh? A worm. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to worm here. I'm gonna have to worm here, sir. Sir and a cow. Got the worm. Might lose our perfect streak here because of the worm, but I don't care. Uh oh. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, we're still alive, we're still alive, we're fine, we're fine. Oh, yep, we're fine. We draw, that's fine, we're okay with that. So now we get to buff the worm. Okay, but this is the broken strat I used last time. Anyway, this is one of the broken strats, as you can't tell, this is like literally insane. That I discovered, I found this one all by myself this time. No one helped me. Oh, let's do this, alright, let's, uh, chocolate first. Boom, then this, sushi. Hopefully it hits the worm, it did, awesome. And then, yes, great, then sell this. Grab you. Melky Melky. Sell you. And let's go with you. 
25, 33, 12, 15, and this guy's almost done. You're dead. Ooh. Wait, are we gonna survive this? No, you're dead. You're dead. Oh, uh, this guy has a caterpillar, so we lost. Right. Yeah, can't, can't. I, I, I mean, that's totally balanced. Yeah, that's fine. So, yep. Yep. Now, almost, most of the time, though, let's be honest, those were two 50 50s, because it's really not that hard to have one 50 50 this turn. It's just a caterpillar. Caterpillar's stupid, but it's not just the caterpillar, it's some other stuff, too. But most of the time, it's the caterpillar. I'm gonna go with level two hatching chick here because I feel like it's gonna we're gonna survive for a long time. He's definitely gonna get his value worth. Um, plus two plus two for level two really ain't that great. It's basically a giraffe. But whatever. Roll, melon, freeze you. Roll, two mammoths, octopus, octopus. Um, I'm gonna do this for now. Hopefully, it hits the worm. It didn't. Oh, well, all right, that's good. Oh no, wait. Oh, wait, we still win. We still win. It's fine. Octopus, get wrecked. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Get Rex. And now we're gonna have two jacked units. Hey, it's a puppy. All right, I'm selling you. I don't really know. I mean, this guy's pretty strong. I mean, look at him. A mushroom. Let's uh, do this. A leopard or a tiger. I don't know why I just called you a leopard. That's probably the dumbest thing I ever said. And a chili. I almost kind of want to put the chili on someone. Um, I can put the chili on this octopus up front, and that way he pops two melons. Probably. Probably pops two melons. I'm not sure if he will or not. He didn't pop any. Damn. Well, um, that means I get to pop a melon here. Yeah. Well, we lost. What the hell was that? All right, will I actually win this? I don't know. I'm actually starting to get worried. There's a cow. Oh, boy. We have to get rid of something. Let me get rid of the chick for the cow. That's unfortunate. Also, I should be putting it on this worm as well. Um, I actually do have to do that here. Do you want this mushroom? I put it on ye... I don't, I don't know how that works. I'm pretty sure you just become a butterfly, and then you don't get any of your items, so. Boom, boom, boom. Another octopus. I'm not sure. Should I roll here or put a tiger in? Dragon? Wow. Dragging these nuts on your face. Another octopus? Cool. Chocolate? Uh, I don't know what's going on. Alright, hopefully this works out. We have a lot of stats, but we're probably going to run into like 350-50s, so. Close enough. Close enough. T-Rex, you know, same thing. All right. Um, level up, gain a new ability. Yeah. But we're, are we ever going to be able to level up, though? That's the question. Um, I might have to put a melon on you, I think. No. Let's think for a second. We're doing this. I'm going to roll once. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can I live this, please? Can I live once? I just want to live one time, please. Sir. Sir, just one time. Let me live for a little bit. Okay, all the melons are popped, though. Get wrecked. Absolutely rolled. I lost, though. No! See, anyway, that's the game. Uh, you should face a bunch of 50-50. It's really cool. And, uh, yep. Yep, 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 I'm scared about the... Basically, I'm just scared about the DLC pack. I feel like we should have a discussion about if pay-to-win is actually good for the game or not. I don't think it is. I think you should find a new way to do it. Less pets, more content. You know what I mean? I don't know. What do you guys think? I don't know. I have no idea.